Barakata Yahawa, Barakata Yahaw Shai, Barakata Yahawa, Barakata Yahaw Shai, Barakata Yahawa, Bashem Yahaw Shai, Bashem Makakadash, double honors and salutations to the apostles and the elders and the bishops of uh, Great Millstone, to the Akim Akwaf, throughout the four corners of the earth, holding on in sincerity and truth and diligence of mind to the gospel of Lord Amashah Kiawashah in these days and times of Rabbi Nasher with the DC camp. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, the, the world is getting uh, to uh, a tipping point where the people are constantly uh, in opposition with the oppressor, you know, the, the, the oppressing uh, class of their society, you know, the puppets of uh, Esau's empire, you know, oppressing their, their own people. And uh, it's becoming uh, very apparent that uh, their end is already at hand. And that's just the way the Lord has uh, orchestrated it all right and uh, I'll get a quick precept because um, the Lord has to make certain things take place for the sake of prophecy all right so the book of um, Ecclesiastes chapter 7 verse 8 says, uh, Better is the end of a thing than the beginning thereof. All right, that's the, the ultimate point. And then to add on to that, it says, And the patient in spirit is better than the proud in spirit. And the scripture tells you this is the... Uh, <laughs> Oh boy, man, this is just beautiful. I read it again, Ecclesiastes chapter 7 verse 8. Better is the end of a thing than the beginning thereof. And the patient in spirit is better than the proud in spirit. So this is how the Lord has set things up, man. The Lord has set it up in such a way that you know the uh, the end of this uh, oppressing uh, class has to uh, be manifested, and the Lord has uh, put for that vibration, the vibration of justice, to uh, be moving through the earth. You know that's the the man of the Lord preaching this gospel. That's the vibration of justice, the vibration of uh, judgment you know, gaining steam. And uh, it's just the, the beauty of the Mosai's uh, just, you know, uh, judgment, right? His, his balance is just uh, excellent. And it's just a matter of time that uh, the people are going to uh, go into overdrive, man, because they're tired of all these uh, orchestrated wars. They're tired of all the... the corruption they're tired of uh, the mismanagement of uh, funds of resources they're tired of losing their their lives for uh, you know for a, a lost cause you know folks just starving they could barely eat enough you know to uh, to to uh, feed their family without headaches and uh, now they got to go on the streets and protest the the, the puppetry so uh, it's just how the Lord has set it up. The Lord has already said in Revelation chapter 13 verse 10, He that led it into captivity shall go into captivity. He that killeth with a sword must be killed with a sword. Here is the patience and the fate of the saints. So this is exactly what the men of the Lord are, are constantly uh, seeking the Lord for. That the judgment that he has uh, prescribed will be visited upon the heads of the elites of this world, the, uh, the heads of Edom, all right, this so-called uh, uh, ruling class, the, 
the, the so-called uh, elites that control the, the financial system, that control the, uh, the political system, all right? So the Lord has to, uh, you know, put them in check. And it's just uh, how the Lord, you know, begins to uh, allow his light to shine. And that's why this gospel, you know, is, uh, is very terrifying to, uh, to Esau, all right? So we're going to get a quick precept. It's going to be from the book of uh, Ecclesiastes, chapter 5, verse 8. And it reads... If thou seest the oppression of the poor and the violent perverting of judgment and justice in a province, marvel not at the matter, for he that regardeth is higher than the highest regarded. So the most high is above, you know, the heads of states and all these ministers and governors and uh, presidents, kings and uh, and the prime ministers, man, the Lord is above them, okay, so, hey, the Lord is in charge, man, he's going to take all that into account, and they be higher than they, so the, the Lord has a system in place that uh, his supremacy is going to be uh, <laughs> made obvious, it's going to be, how you say, it's going to be uh, put on display before the whole world, all right? The Mosai ruled in the kingdom of men. And it's going to be a, a huge surprise to a lot of people that are ignorant, man. And uh, when you look at the situation in, in Kenya, it's just a glimpse of uh, the downfall of, uh, of Esau. And when you also link uh, this situation in Kenya, you know, the, this protest, it's just uh, another chapter that uh, the Lord is making obvious to his servants, the prophets, that, uh, you know, the plantation, man, you know, the, plant, the, man, the plantation management has to uh, experience some, uh, some shock and awe. And it's just how, what is going to happen, man. You know, it's going to spread. You know, all these countries that are ruled by the puppets of the elites of Esau, they're going to start having uh, upheavals, just like the scripture says, man. You know, the uproars of the people, it's only a matter of time for it to come. So, you know, you already know that uh, Kenya has uh, the personnel in uh, in Haiti, you know, so-called uh, policemen, or what, if you want to call them troops. They have them in uh, Haiti to try to combat uh, the so-called violence in there, you know. And it's just going to be... Uh, a catalyst that the Lord use to show that uh, he has set a, a trap for uh, for Babylon, you know, for the elites of Esau to uh, to fall. And it's just how it is, man, that the Lord has different ways of uh, solving problems, man, of uh, you know, eliminating uh, obstacles you know, to the salvation of his people. So we're going to read from the book of Isaiah, chapter 51. 51, verse 14. All right. Isaiah 51 and 14. This is what it says. The captive exile hasteneth that he may be loosed. All right. So our people are so uh, stressed out of... Uh, living in a state of mind that is uh, alienated from righteousness, man. It's uh, stressing our people out. Our people just, you know, self-imploding because they can't really handle. They, can't, they don't even know how they're going to move forward with all this oppressive uh, legislation and all this uh, interrupt, you know, how you say, interrupted development. They can't, they can't uh, see themselves, you know, prospering long term you know the children are children are under, under attack you know the, the the their livelihood is under attack so they're just uh they're losing it man 
all right isaiah 51 and 14 the captive exile hastened that he may be loose so our people can just can't wait for freedom and they're just protesting 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 and looking for wiggle room they're looking for a, a, a opportunity to breed you know you see them shouting during the uh, protest i can't breed i can't breed you know they they, 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 they you know they, they're fighting they're complaining they're upset you know the battling depression and uh, all types of uh, mental uh, obstacles you know just to make it to the next day all right and then it says uh, and that he should not die in the pit our people don't want to be at the bottom of society forever and just uh, fade away they want to have a legacy to leave to their children to their people uh, you know Jake want to have a name man Jake has that uh, element of uh, of, of royalty man they want to have a, a name that uh, the can be, that the family can remember they want a legacy that the children can look at and uh, be proud of all right so our people don't want to be at the bottom they're tired of being at, at the bottom of uh, of this system man you know and that he should not die in the pit nor that his bread should fail all right not that, that the efforts you know the efforts should not, uh, uh, how you say it, uh, fade away, man, you know, because Jake struggles day and night, they're out there on the highways, man, or construction crews, man, you know, you, you'll see them uh, doing all these cleaning jobs overnight, man, cleaning uh, buildings, you know, insulation on this and that and this in the morning they're already out there they're out there at the walk sites with their uh, coolers with their hat hats and their steel toe boots with their pickup trucks yeah they're out there man driving all these uh, tractor trailers yeah jake is out there you know hustling and struggling working as cashiers uber drivers nurses doctors lawyers you know teachers jake just try to catch a break you know protesting you know for uh, better wages you see all these teachers you know complaining about uh they need a better contract from the from the from the school district they need a better in the better contract from the from the state you know so it's just uh, a, a constant battle you know and then then you, you turn on the news some athlete is getting signed you know for a multiple year contract over 300 million dollars over 50 million dollars over this you know i'm like yeah damn that's that's you know that's funds that uh, can help out the uh the so-called teachers you know to give them a, a, a opportunity to uh build something for themselves man you know and then you talk about uh the economy has to improve if the teachers are not getting uh what they deserve you know what's what hope do, do the students have you know so and then the school system is all up in shambles man because of uh, all the 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 uh, interference man he saw it's already corrupted the, uh, the school system by attacking the children you know how do you attack children you attack them through the you know through entertainment man through the music you know and and uh, children become unruly you know broken homes uh, uh, lack of uh, uh, respect for the parents so it's just uh, too much that our people have to deal with and the lord you know has uh, given the prophets the green light to show our people the way to return you know to him and to seek him with all their hearts so that uh, they're going to be able to uh, deal with the attacks, you know, the uh, the assaults on their on their psyche. As the man of the Lord, you're going to have to deal with this uh, constant assault, man. You know, you're constantly being assaulted every day. You don't even know it. All right. So you got to pray that the Lord gives you a strong spirit to uh to deal with the uh, barrage of attacks all right 
So uh, when you read the book of uh, Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 17, it says, For great are thy judgments and cannot be expressed. Therefore, unnurtured souls have erred. So if you have no proper understanding about holding on to the words of the Lord, you're going to be in disarray. You know, every day is going to be an error, 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 error. Just like Jake can get right, that's exactly what it is. Jake is constantly, you know, acting detrimental to the, you know, to their own uh, safety, to their own uh, protection, to their own health. You know, they're being a hazard to themselves, man. So it's just what happens. And then it says in verse 2, For when unrighteous men taught to oppress the holy nation, they being shut up in their houses, the prisoners of darkness and fettered, with the bonds of a long night, lay their exile from the eternal providence. Okay, so the Lord is basically uh, letting us know that when our people going through this all these attacks, man, something happens. You know that the Lord had to make an example out of uh, Egypt. You know, yeah, the Lord had to had to hold uh, the Egyptians to a standard of punishment. Then verse 3 says, For while they're supposed to lie hid in their secret sins, they were scattered under a dark veil of forgetfulness, being horribly astonished and troubled with strange apparitions. Yeah, so the Lord had to jack up the Egyptians, man. You know, we talk about the ten plagues. Yeah. The Lord, yeah, the Lord uh, gave uh, Pharaoh ten opportunities to let the people, to let the Israelites go, but he just kept, uh, you know, stalling and stalling and stalling and stalling and stalling. Then the Lord turned up the heat, you know, the Lord turned up the heat, and then, uh, yeah, he, uh, he he did what he had to do to uh, crush him. You know, crush them in the in the sea, you know, with their chariots and horses. So that's how brutal the Lord can be. When the Lord says he needs his uh, his peculiar treasure back, that's it. That's it. There's no uh, there is no uh, debate. There is no uh, negotiation. Just. Let the people go. Let the Israelites go. And that's just what Esau is doing. He doesn't want to let the Israelites go, man. That's why he keeps interfering with Haiti. He keeps interfering in Africa, in Latin America. You know, the Gadites can barely uh, hold it together, man. Because Esau's always in their business, man. You hear about the Department of the Interior. You hear about the Bureau of Land Management. You know, always in the business of God. You know, we want to be the the uh, how you say it, wards. <laughs> yeah, they want to be custodians of the people. But it's just uh, something strange that Esau cannot uh, let go of. You know, so the scripture talks about those that held them captive refused to let them go. So what do you think the Lord is going to do? The Lord has to take action. So we're going to read from the book of uh, Second Ezra, chapter 9, verses 3 to 4. And then it says, oh, one of the signs, it says, Then, therefore, when there shall be seen earthquakes and operas of the people in the world, then shall thou well understand that the Most High speak of those things from the days that were before thee, even from the beginning. So these are signs that uh, the Lord is about to bring about the deliverance of our people, man. When our people are protesting in Kenya, they're protesting in uh, Sudan, they're protesting in Burkina Faso, they're protesting here in the Americas, in Europe, wherever they are. The Lord sees that. The Lord knows uh, what our people have to deal with and is patiently working on the salvation of our people 
through his gospel and uh when you see the signs you know it's just about uh time that our people start to uh inquire about why these things are happening and the lord is laying the, the groundwork beautifully for the salvation of our people and the salvation of our people entails that uh, Esau's system be torn down so when you see the situation in in, uh, in haiti you understand the lord has to be pulling the strings in the countries that have their hands in haiti so expect uh, major things to happen here in america to happen in canada to happen in uh, france to happen in uh, in kenya you know so whatever major country that has their hands in haiti they have to feel the the lord you know turning their system upside down so you hear about the so-called political land shift you know in the in france now you're going to see that in kenya the young folks in kenya you know jakes especially man because uh, you have the southern kingdom of Judah, you know, Judah, Benjamin, Levi, they're over there in Kenya, you know, it's, it's just going to uh, give the puppets a hard time and then it's going to spread, you know, to Uganda, it's going to spread to Ethiopia, you know, it's going to spread to, uh, you know, those countries in the East Africa, man, you know, they're going to start uh, demanding that their government uh, step it up, man, because... Uh, when you see the legislation that uh, they've been passing, man, you go tell that something is not adding up. And uh, when, you, when you go and check online, man, they're talking about, you know, in Kenya that uh, the people were not pleased with the so-called, uh, you know, legislation that the government was trying to pass that had to deal with finances. You know, and they say that, well, look and see if it was the IMF that... Uh, wrote that uh, le so-called legislation and they've already paid people people off to uh, vote on it so it could become law but the folks say they know they don't want it man you know they don't want it they get tired and then you already saw the uh the news uh, report that the, the so-called president of kenya you know was uh here in the united states you know some uh was it was it last month so, who knows, you know, how the Lord is going to uh, tear, it, tear it apart. But eventually, you know, the, the young folks, man, are tired. Man. You see on the screen, protesters clash with police. You know, the police could barely get uh, two cents to rub against each other. They're out there with their tear gas and live ammunition. Because you see in Africa, man, those, those uh, officers, man, those policemen, you don't if you think they're going to be using rubber bullets no nah, i mean they're using live ammunition that's how low the iq is man live ammunition on protest man yeah you, well who knows man so no matter of time that uh level of iq is going to be here in america man these cops will not have uh any uh non-lethal <laughs> you know uh ammunition to use they're going to have lethal you know they're going to have little ammunition and that's how you know things are going to go into override you know so you talk about oh the, what happened at kent state it was the mistake but it's just the beginning you know so all that uh the use of live ammunition man it's going to happen here in america because the lord has to uh stir up the pot man the lord has to stir up the spirit of the people that uh you know the the so-called uh, nobles are going to have to be in fear for their lives man because uh yeah folks man folks know where these politicians live man you know there's nowhere they can hide you know they could go get as much uh security they want to have but it doesn't change anything they already know where they are you know they already know where, what schools their children go to their parents you know, their brothers and sisters and cousins and uncles and uh, their family members, their businesses, all that stuff, you know. So it's only a matter of time, their, their, uh, their wealth. They know where the, the, the wealthy hide their riches. So what's, <laughs> what's stopping the people from acting on it? 
is the most high. So it's only a matter of time when the Lord gives that uh, that green light, man, to unleash the chaos upon the face of the earth. So it's going to be beautiful to see the Lord, you know, bring that spirit of justice, spirit of equity, you know, to, rav to ravish the earth. All right, to ravish the earth because the Lord has to turn the world of uh, the unrighteous upside down. All right, the Lord has to destroy the empire of the beast, and that's just how it is, man. Yeah, and the Lord has to do that, you know. And then you look at the 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 the, the, the second video. It says thousands of youths throng Uhuru Park to honor those killed by police during protests. Yeah, so, you know, folks don't forget, because when it's time for them to take vengeance, they don't care if uh, the officer has a family, you know, he's apologizing, he lives in their neighborhood, they're going to do what they have to do. Yeah, because that's just what happens, man. And the people are going to walk their way up. You know, they're going to, you know, do what they got to do to uh, expel some stress to release that tension in their system man because a lot of folks have uh, been victims of uh, police brutality and uh, just imagine what they're going to do when they start to uh, take actions you know make decisions to uh, to get uh, revenge you know they're going to seek their own form of justice all right yeah you know a soldier you know, soldiers are not exempt. Because when that soldier gets cornered, man, that's it for him. You know, that's it for him. Because folks, folks don't uh, have time to be reasoning. You know, oh, well, he's, uh, he's innocent. No, man, he's got to pay. He's got to pay. He made a decision to uh, stand against the people. So he's got to bear the brunt of it. That's why the scripture talks about those that shall be found joined unto them shall be trust true. Yeah, so whoever is going to go and not defend a system of oppression, they're going to have to deal with the consequences. It doesn't matter what agency they work with. When the time is right, that is it. That's, that's it for them. Whether they're lawyers, judges, politicians, you know, folks that want to uphold a system of oppression, they're going to collapse under the weight of it. So Jeremiah chapter 50 verse 24 says this, I have laid a snare for thee, and thou art also taken, O Babylon. So this is the Lord's trap, man. The Lord has allowed Babylon, you know, the, the, the beasts of the elites to have its tentacle in the nations of the earth. So now they're trapped. You know, how are they going to exit that position they've been put they've been put in? You know, the elites are wondering how they're going to uh, maneuver so they could retain their uh, their power and be able to stay uh, above the fray, above the people. So that's about it, man. So they're going to have to uh, figure out how they can dominate the people with their deception, with the violence and the attacks and all that stuff and the psychological warfare. So what do you think the Lord is going to do? The Lord has to uh, show them that uh, their tactics are flawed and uh, it's going to turn their plans upside down. That's why the scripture talks about in Job that the devices of the poor, or of the, of the, of the oppressed, you know, is carried headlong. So it's going to fail, you know. Jeremiah 15, 24, I have, laid a snare, I have laid a snare for thee, and thou art also taken. So the beast is trapped. All right, the, the beast is trapped. The beast that was allowed to get out of the pit now is stuck in the trap. O Babylon, and thou art was and thou was not aware, thou art found, 
and also cut so the hunting of the beast is, an, <laughs> is at hand all right because thou hast striven against the lord so the lord has to take care of uh, the pest you know the lord sees the beast as a pest the lord sees the uh, eu as a pest the lord sees nato as a pest and when the pest is messing up uh, your uh, your farmland, your estates, your vegetation, your garden, you're gonna do what everybody gotta do. You gotta set the traps in there, you know? You gotta set the traps. You gotta send the, the, uh, the hunter to uh, take care of business. And that's the beauty of uh, the Lord making things happen. So we're gonna read from the book of uh, Revelation. chapter 11 verses 10 and 11 all right because uh when when the pest is uh is driving against the lord and dominating the lives of uh the people the israelites so-called negroes so-called latinos so-called native americans the lord says oh well you know i got something special for you so revelation 11 and 10 says and they that dwell upon the earth shall rejoice over them and make merry and shall send gifts one to another because these two prophets tormented them that dwelt on the earth yeah so it shows that these people are you know the, the, the uh, esau is against the prophets of the lord man just to keep this uh verse uh simple simplified all right and then verse 10 uh verse 11 says and after three days and and half the spirit of life from yahab by shima shai by shima kakadash entered into them so they got the, the the prophets got restored okay and they stood upon their feet and great fear fell upon them which saw them so now the prophets are speaking now the the elites of esau are getting tormented just like we read in the book of uh, ezra so like yeah you the book of uh, wisdom of solomon chapter 17 you know now the elites of of esau have to deal with the torments you know the apparitions you know so the lord has to visit them you know and that when they try to uh, conjure up all these evil spirits they're just gonna get uh, a message that uh, uh time of your rulership is running out just like uh the babylonians you know you get a writing on the wall many many tackle or fasten yeah so that's how it is man you know the, the there has to be a day of reckoning and uh, it's at hand and the uh, Esau doesn't want to accept it but he has no choice all right the destroyer of the beast is on his way so we get another precept it's going to be from the book of uh sirach chapter 27 verse 29 it says uh, they that rejoice at the fall of the righteous shall be taken in the snare that's how it is that's what the lord said sirach 27 verse 29 they that rejoice at the fall of the righteous shall be taken in the snare and anguish shall consume them before they die so they're going to be tormented man they're gonna be uh, put in such a dire strait, you know, a position of difficulty that uh, they've never dealt dealt with before. All their nightmares are gonna come to life, just like you talk about uh, art imitates life. Oh yeah, the words of the of, <laughs> of the scriptures are gonna to come to life. It's prophecy. And the Lord is gonna plague them so bad, man. It's gonna plague them so bad that they're gonna lose it, man. They're gonna be, they will not be able to enjoy their riches and pass it on to their 
offspring to their descendants. That's it for them, man. You know, that's it. The end of their empire, the end of their business ventures, the end of uh, them having a uh, respect upon the face of the earth. That's it. You know, their whole establishment is coming to ruins and that is just how brutal the lord is man you know so when the oppressor was rejoicing at the fall of the righteous what do you think the lord had to has to do he has to put them in check the lord has to remind them that there is a price to pay for making ridicule of the righteousness anyone that makes a uh, ridicule of the Lord's righteousness because the righteousness of the saints is not of the saints, it's of the Lord. So that means they're making ridicule of the Lord because the prophets are in the image of the Lord and the Lord has to uh, show that uh, he will not tolerate such actions, such behavior. That's the reason why he has to bring his judgment. He has to make an example of the unrighteous and that is the power of the lord being on display and that's how it is man so when folks make fun of the man of the lord when they are uh, going through difficulties and uh, they going through that uh, straight gate the lord already has not you know has the people marked you're right those folks are marked okay that's how it is that's how the lord uh exact his uh, his judgments upon those that decide to uh, mock his prophets just like the you know the the, the mocking of uh, Yahweh Shai as he was about to be crucified yeah the Lord has those people's names on uh, his uh, special list of uh, condemnation all right so we read from the book of uh, psalms chapter 40 verse 15 let them be desolate for a reward of their shame that say unto me aha aha all right yeah folks are like to joke and have a good time at the expense of the prophets the lord has uh destined them to uh to swim to be engulfed to drown in everlasting shame that is just uh, something the lord has to show you know the judgments of the lord are not something you take uh, lightly take for granted so what do you think he's gonna do he has to uh shake up the people man shake up the the the, the, the scoffers so the scoffers man the scoffers gonna have their, their day in court <laughs> Yeah, the backbiters, you know, the the naysayers. Yep. The gainsayers. They're gonna have to be dealt with. And that's just why these things are taking place. The Lord is setting the stage for the oppressors and their puppets. The the jesters of the oppressors have to go down together. That's just how it is, man. The Lord is not going to be separating the jesters and the oppressor. <laughs> no, they're all going down together. All right. So uh, final precept will be from the book of uh, Job. Job chapter 20, verse 20. Surely he shall not feel quietness in his belly. All right. Yeah. Surely the elites of Esau shall not... Uh, enjoy their their peace of mind they're not they're not going to enjoy their glory to the full extent that's what the lord has said he shall not save of that which he desired so whatever they've stocked up man the lord says he shall not save of that which he desired so all their investments is going to be liquidated by the lord liquidated confiscated eviscerated destroyed that's about it you know verse 21 even says there shall none of his meat be left 
therefore shall no man look for his good. So the Lord is going to separate uh, the elites of Esau from their wealth. It's going to destroy their source of livelihood. You know, their, their, their investment is going to be destroyed. All right. So it's just the Lord, you know, showing that uh, he has a plan to uh, exert upon the earth. And uh, the elites of Esau have to deal with it, man. So just imagine the, the souls of these people that got slain because they're protesting against oppression. They're crying unto the Lord too. Just like uh, Abel crying before the Lord against uh, Cain. You know? So these folk, this, this folks, our people are crying unto the Lord. That when is he going to take judgment against the oppressors of our people? And that's how messed up it is, man. You know, all, Jake just killing his own people just to please the, the, the so-called elites. That's how sad, you know, things have become. You know, he, he didn't doing the same thing. Uh, Ham doing the same thing too. You know, they want to have uh, power over the people, so they destroy their own people just to please the elites of Esau just to please the dragon so eventually the Lord has to destroy you know the uh, the plans of, uh, of Esau and the Edomite elites and it's, the Lord is going to start from the bottom you know the Lord's going to start from the bottom when the Lord starts to uh, raise up his servants the elect that's it you know the people have to be raised up the spirit of life has to enter into the minds of the elect. And that is just a sign that Esau dreads so, so badly, so fearfully. All right. So uh, it's only a matter of time, man, that uh, these things will uh, go into serious overdrive, man. And this protest is just a little glimpse. Just imagine when the prophets, you know, are put on the front on the front lines before the whole world oh boy oh boy there will be no there is no uh, army upon the face of the earth that will be able to stand up against the prophets of the lord when the lord raises up his prophets and put them up there on the front lines that is it that is the end of it and it's coming all right, so that's the point there, Akim. Abaratiza, Ba Shemi Abishai, Ba Shemi Kakadash, with the approval of your power, you've been edified. Shalom.